Hello guys. I hope the wind noise is okay. Uh, I haven't got my external mic because I was doing some well, work and then other life stuff, making a lasagna actually uh, for tea tonight. And I couldn't find my mic, so rather than waste a few, well, say two minutes looking for it, I just grabbed my stuff and came down to the river. I've been down here a few times now, but the river's been in, uh, in spades and it's been a real struggle to fish because I have to fish or the fish lie on the opposite bank but with the Rex we have this channel that runs down the middle and it's very difficult to wade well it's impossible to wade when the river's in spate and it does mean casting is an absolute nightmare and there hasn't been any fish rising however I came down Saturday I saw one fish rise right at the top of my beat and I came all the way down to the bottom looking for signs and I actually had a stonker of a session fishing this little eddy here and just over there there in that slack water I'm not sure where I'm pointing on the camera but I only had one of those fish on camera because I met a lovely guy down here who emigrated to Australia I, don't know, I think it was about 20 years ago from Tiverton and he's a fly fisherman and he came down and he was down here when I got here and we got chatting and uh, basically he said he wanted to walk down with me to where I started fishing and wanted to see uh, what fish were in here I've never been watched apart from on YouTube fishing before and thankfully I managed to get I think it was two grayling out of season obviously and about three brownies and it was a lovely little session stuck under the barbed wire but none of those were on film and the gentleman left me because he then wanted to run off and get his license and find some river that he could actually fish around here because he couldn't fish this unfortunately um, so he was all enthused so I returned I managed to get one brownie for the camera but it wasn't great quality um, so yeah it's uh, about half past five on Monday the 1st of April and I'm hoping I can repeat what I did previously uh, the rise has started, or started catching just over on this far bank and up to that eddy. After that, working up through the beat, I didn't have a single rise. So I'm hoping the level's drop in about two centimetres a day. It's still got quite a bit of flow in it, but nothing as severe as it has been or fierce. So, well, I love it. I love the river. And I've been watching the river levels since uh, the season started the 15th of March I've been watching the levels to get back down here and it's perfect there is a bit of a hatch last uh, Saturday I fished the Alcair Caddis big Alcair Caddis to get the uh, fishers attention and it really did I had one uh, brownie take the fly when it had drowned and I was retrieving it and pulling it quite fast through the water and uh, yeah the brownie took it so they're definitely hungry so let's see if I can get some on camera for you oh and thank you very much guys if you subscribe to the channel I really appreciate that and obviously to all those who subscribe right from the start I only I don't know there's about 110 111 I haven't got massive subscribers but I appreciate every single one of you for watching my videos I really do all right let's see if we can get some brownies wade through all the debris. God, the winter has dumped some rubbish down in the river here. Just tighten up a bit. Water's still nice and cold on my legs.
Oh. I'm going to be careful and try not to fall over. About a week ago I was down here and I managed to fall over in the river. That was on camera. I didn't half hurt my knees. Oh, splash landing. There we go. Oh, that's a grayling, I'm guessing. Oh no, must be brown otherwise jumping. Oh, it's coming in too easy. There we go. Using a net just because it's easier in this flow. There we go. Oh, there you are. Have a little brownie, the big old elk hair caddis in his mouth. That didn't take long. That's go longer, but that was longer, but it hit the water very hard. Saturday I managed to get into that tree which is where I cast now, so uh, it's a boogie tree at the minute. I nearly got it that time. I always think this area looks very trouty, but never really produces for me. Let's put some more slack in to the line there, it's better. I'm trying to get technical with my casting while avoiding the tree behind me. I'm trying to twitch the line, but it's hard to keep up with it. Yeah, there's plenty of naturals playing on the surface here.
This is where my deep hole is. See, there's an area of slack water here where I do not venture. Oh. Now this hole here, this pool, really did produce for me on a Saturday. That fly really is, needs drying off, but I'm being lazy. Wade forward as far as I can before I hit that slope. That's short, way short. cast and then drying off this fly. Yeah. A lot of turbulence in this water here. Just want to take my fly fly line down with it. I've never found out how deep that hole is and I never intend to. God, the river looks stunning. But I never saw so what is a hot spot one day, dries up the next. Oh, I've just seen it rise. Ah, and the flies drowned straight away. Gone already. Oh, that's not clever. That's nice. Where is he?
on a different fly, I think this one just doesn't want to stay afloat. On the spot, Now let's try a different fly. Ah, oh, I had a rise then and he missed it. going. Ah, I missed him. Casting out, Paul. Well, it took me a few casts, but I got him in the end. He's a nice size as well. Oh. Yes, mate. No, only about half an hour or so. Not for this time of the year, no, with a flow like this. Are you had any luck? No, I just started. <laughs> Do you find much normally? Oh wow! Well. Yeah, oh, in this field is it? Or? No, that was a Oh, okay. Oh wow! I suppose that's the joy of it, you never know what you're going to get, do you? Absolutely. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. This river's been an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, last time we went really low. So low I couldn't fish it. But uh, yeah, it was... Uh... <laughs> Alright, have fun. Cheers. I don't know if you guys heard any of that or saw much, but it's had that lovely brownie. I was going to talk to you, but then a uh, metal detectorist uh, appeared, random, asking how I was doing and and that. So I was just talking to him. So anyway, that was a lovely brownie I just caught. I'm not sure if he's the only one over there. I'm going to give it a couple more chucks. I am surprised actually I caught him because my casting did go to pot. And what I was trying to do was that, lay the line upstream slightly so I've got a slightly longer drift. I can't ice stick it because I've got these trees here. Oh, I'm doing my casting again. Oh, gosh, these rocks are wicked. No, I think he was the only one there. He was a lovely size. I hope you guys saw him. If you didn't, sorry about that. Alright, let's work up here then. Drowned it. I've got two. That might be my lot today, but I'm going to keep working my way up the beat because the flow is dropping. And I might be cheeky and go back down to that eddy where I, uh, I put that rising fish down. Right, I'm going to try these few eddies here. Try to avoid the ducks. God, that was a bloody good rise, but he missed my fly completely. Sorry, mate. I can't hear you, hold on. I can't hear you because of the water, hold on. What was that, sorry? Fishing, mate. Yeah, there's plenty of brown trout in here. I love it in here. Yeah. 
Tschüss.